Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land for episode 10 I think this is. And yep, yeah, as you can see here we've got 15,000 litres of fuel. This is going to fill up our fuel tank by our new sawmill little farmyard area. And I have made some corrections as I have made a bit of a massive mistake in terms of the econ 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 uh, economic settings. And yeah. We had it on easy, where I thought we had it on normal, as what Dagrin and James Hoare are using, but, so yeah, we'd be getting a lot of money very quickly, and way too much money. In fact, actually, after batch recording the last four or so, four or five episodes in two days, and the reason I've done a bunch of batch recordings was to simply get some content out over the weekend, and get a stack on it because I knew I was going to be away over the weekend a lot on bike rally so it wasn't until afterwards I was like editing and making some mistakes including one or two little things not including the mistake in the last episode I think it was or episode 8 where we accidentally lost the time lapse of the rock picking when we did this, so I do apologise for that, but yeah, for some reason it didn't come up or anything because usually on place I record, save it, and then record each segment as there is. So, no idea what's going on in that. So, we've corrected the economic settings and we've done a few little things as well behind the scenes in between episodes, which we will have a look main thing is greenhouses and I've got a bunch of more of these Bowsers so I see here we've got these Bowsers that we added first of all by the door actually if anything let's, let's remedy that now get rid of those uh, why are we getting extra money? Uh, no idea on that Ah, and this is set in the water, but yeah. So I've added four of each to the back. And that's going to help a lot. We'll tie these up, because that was just placed normally. And that was free placement, hence why there's no land formations or... I see here, changing textures on the ground, so... But in terms of the whole remedy situation with the extra money, once we sell these and clear that, I am not going to touch this until fall, so well, around fall after after the summer until like August and that. So next couple of episodes we won't be touching greenhouses, but I do have plenty of water, forty-five thousand liters of water. But yeah, good thing we know that now with the whole economy settings, banks, and all that. So, but then also we got the seeds and fertilizer or herbicide loaded up. And fertilizer, yep. Load it up, take it over here because we do need both of these. Herbicide, definitely, because we changed the wheels on the John Deere to some narrows. That costed us two grand. And I think before we do anything, let's give this a very quick little clean because going to the field, we do need to clean our equipment a lot more because. We've got a bunch of these now, because I did add a couple more, I think, over there in between episodes, and yeah, these need all a big old clean. There we go, just clean the rock picker, clean the plow, or no, cultivator. Actually, which I didn't realise, actually with the cultivator, we don't actually really need it, because our cedar is a direct drill. That was purely by an accident or coincidence, because I was even planning, you know, get a direct drill cedar and that, but now we've got one, that's going to save us a lot of time, that is. There we go, just clean everything up. Get rid of all the muck. So, yep, yeah, that's that clean. We'll go and clean more of our equipment as we go along. Yeah, so the goal in this episode is to get everything fertilised, 
her herbicide is spread. There's no weeds growing here yet, so that will be in July. This is almost ready to harvest because we need to get the herbicide done today. And whilst we still can drive over this with crop destruction being on, I am going to cut these trees down here and drag them over to the sawmill with the help of our winch. The fertilizing on this bit here is actually only around the headlands and a bit in the forest that's got the forest ground so we'll get that sorted. And I think there was a strip over here as well, like a sh straight bit here I think. Let's have a look. So go to fertilizer and weeds, that's fully fertilized and a bunch of weeds so yeah. And you put the second stage of fertilizer going around the perimeter and a little bit on up there, a little bit there so that ain't going to take us too long to do and perhaps use more fertilizer than we're planning but you know what I don't mind with the working width and that so we'll do the planks in the moment now let's move you out of here just place you, I don't know, somewhere in there for now. Not too bothered. But yeah, so John Deere is all loaded up. Stocked up with some herbicide that we done like several episodes ago. And we'll work on this track in here now, get this track finished. Obviously we only did a quick one when we did it in episode 8 I think it was. Yeah, I think it was episode 8 where we filled it up and obviously upgraded from our first one that we bought. But now we're actually using it. So, get that unfolded. And of course at some point if we get a self-propelled one of these, that would be handy. But that's going to be quite a bit of waste down the road. Oh yeah, that was a bit we actually destroyed. And the weeds are working, they're going away. So yep, yeah, what we're gonna do now is do the headland, get work on this, get one of the other tractors, get some fertilizer loaded up, under the lime first of all. Do that, and then we'll start working on setting some stuff because we do need the combine. Anything in the used market? No, so we'll get this done and I'll see you folks in a few moments.
so that is the fertilizing and I'm pretty sure that's the herbicide spreading done as well I think have a little gander at the field info pretty much yeah so just a tiny strip up here but besides from that I think I should have done alright again all this done is that going yeah it is so these bits I may just see if we come back for that bit as we come back down but besides from that actually yeah very quick very efficient and just the right working with imagine if you had a small one that would be a bit of a pain to deal with and also it's actually worth actually then it grow the weeds because actually see where it is even in the lower states you, you can tell the difference in the weeds in the ground but this just makes life a lot easier it does yeah like these little spots here and there it doesn't always get picked up perhaps they're just spread in between where the nozzles are spraying but apart from that it's only a little bit and it's going to have a very minor effect on our total crop yield because if we come out of here now we've got everything done that is why is it even saying 85% yield bonus, that should be a hundred percent. Turn everything on, let's have a little look here. Did we miss a step or something? Yeah, that's all mulched. Ah, that's one thing we did do over here, we forgot to mulch, but it's got a full state of fertilizer. Yeah, I know there's bits here and there that, that we missed in that. That I totally get, and perhaps it just needs updating afterwards. Ah, uh, so will we get. Yeah. We'll wait and see on that, so I'm sure it'll be fine. But regardless, we can pack this up. And also, we did finish off some of the pavement work. Like this bit here it is still quite messy and that not done. But that will get done at some point down the road. I'm not too worried about it just now. But yeah, we forgot to do the mulching. So it's a lot of hard market yield bonus by 2.5 to 5%, I think, depending on how it all works. Actually, we'll get, get stocked up again, I think. If I try to come from this side, perhaps we could get the small Bowser that's nearly f empty. Oh, nope, that's filling up from the other one. Oh, well, it's not too much of an issue. And it's cheap enough, this herbicide, so... go that's going to take all of this I think no oh, uh, could have used the other one that would make space but uh, oh well it is what it is so now we can put this away so drop you down and I think it's time we start doing some timber work so fence over there with the fertilizer spreader, lung spreader. But yeah, I'd be interested to see how much we can get in terms of those logs. But yeah, we seriously do need to think about replanting some trees. It is going to take about two years to grow, so yeah, sooner the better we can get started on that. Should I do uncouple it there? Just whack you in. Hopefully we don't need to wait. That's what I'm hoping for. There we go, standing out. 
It does look quite small compared to the fan, doesn't it? So we'll back this up. Yeah, it looks very tiny, it does. But, you know what? It should work, in theory. In farm, in theory. So... I think, how do we do this? I think if we get the trees to go over straight ahead, then that should be the best way to go about it. So, if I remember right, tilt it to the left to get to go left. Like so. And just get that cut up. But yeah, also, in terms of what we need to consider next is animals. The chickens, that situation. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do on that. Because it is really a big pain in the rear end it is dealing with small capacity and have to go to it every like six hours to make sure it's filled up and that. Because that feed should last for that amount of chickens more than just a couple of hours. It should be more than a thousand years, but oh, I don't know on that. So those little things. So we can push, yeah, thinking, get that come over here, reverse, push these up together, and I think it's, is it three or five logs we can do at once? We'll give it a test. I think it depends on the weight as well. But we'll see. Actually, one more that should be interesting to test is the TLX winch that you can put on the, the TX22s and 3500 series by H2 Studio. So now, if I say we reverse up. Lower that down. Okay. Didn't quite work as to plan, but. So if we reverse. So I'm just testing this because I want to see how it works. So if we grab the winch. If I remember how it goes, like so, and then we'll do the same. We'll open up the help menu here. Max which length? How's that so? you in. Let's just try one tree. One more tree, so try to get a bit of slack. There we go, that's right together. So yeah, it was a bit fizzly, but then we'll just pull these two over. And it's easier than lifting it up and dragging it over or whatever with the big back lift or getting onto a tray or so. Oops. Gotta be careful, yeah. They'll swing quite a bit, they will. So, L1 and triangle to detach the tree. Now, if we go around. So, we've got 25,000 and 400. X amount of trees or timber. Now we're up to 32,000. So let's continue on with this. See how well it goes. If it's small logs, I may just put them to the side and carry them over with the big back lift. But yeah, this is definitely. It is handy, it is useful. And really. <sighs> Wish we'd done this sooner, but 
So we're going to go down. Actually, go a bit more of that angle, I think. Then after we can get our little devour thing, get rid of these stumps, and then this part will be ready to plow up for the next harvest. So yeah, go to tea on this, see how well this goes, and see folks in a few moments, I think. Either we'll be completely done, or not completely done because it's gone to uh, gone to not not as planned, let's put it that way. bit of the timber sorted that is that area there clear so that be ready to plow up in the next year and that or end of this year and we made a bit of a little dent in here actually surprisingly there are quite a few of these small trees which will be used to top up this sawmill here might as well and also we do really get these moved up I've sort of gone around and stacked them a little bit neatly well, I say neatly apart from that, that fell over, but apart from that, a reasonable amount of success was occurred there. So, we'll go to you. But yeah, this is definitely a lot quicker, I think, personally. I could be wrong, it just seems quicker, but yeah, I could be wrong, completely wrong on that. Good thing the trees don't destroy the crops, because we be like a little plow, almost. But yeah, we'll get them... Uh, what's it? The tree devourer thing to get rid of these stumps. And yeah, it's again a little bit of extra land in that. In terms of what we're going to do next for productions, that area over there that we've planted next to the sawmill, I may get rid of that and put something like a carpentry in there. Because it takes five planks for seven bits of furniture. Okay, that's in the way, you know what? Let's just put that in first of all. And then we'll move these over. And what I learned is actually the best thing to do is go and cut these logs up. So because obviously the best log length is about six to eight meters. I'm not gonna bother with that as such, but I'm just gonna cut it down enough just so that it seems to get more Literage per tree in that. Don't know why, but I am not complaining. So if we cut that up. Oh, nope, did not mean to do that. And to put soil blades away. And that is pretty much a hundred thousand litres of timber in there. That's the sawmill so almost filled up actually, and how much does it take again per day? Uh, 6,000... 12,000 litres, so that is... 12, 24, 48, 96, 96... About... 
eight months or so, so that is well into sort of next year, around, was it February? Yeah, January or February, so that is enough timber sorted for now, so don't really have to touch this again for a while. That's going to be a good thing. But now, no, uh, not turn the engine off. We do need to get these pallets zoomed up and sold, so what I'm going to do first of all is go over to the north, well, east part of the farm. Yeah, east part of the farm. Or northeast. Yeah, east, northeast. Get everything loaded up, come back down here, and then we'll get all, well, as much of that slowed up as we can before we hit the pallet limit. Or actually, actually, I may just get all this loaded up and I'll sell all this here. See how much money we've got left afterwards because best time to sell these planks and that is in July. So if we can wait another month, then we will. Or not go into the field that is going to store a crop, as I've done already this, in this episode off camera. Do they destroy? Oh, that's good. So, the wheels on this don't destroy the crops, I don't think. Or the wheels on the trailer, shall we rephrase that. So, if we turn you off, go to you. And let's start grabbing some of these, so we'll get this loaded up. But yeah, I was making way too much money before, so I should have noticed it sooner now because obviously if you compare myself to Chainsaw Dagwin and then the other content creators, there is a couple. I it's doing a similar thing at the moment, I think, from what I noticed. Yeah, we're way ahead. Well at least almost like fifty percent ahead. Because obviously with between easy and normal economy it's about 40% extra money you get, so we do need to put establish a penalty of sort, I think, personally, but yeah, not sure. May say sell one of these tractors. Maybe this case here. Oof. That's a bit sketchy almost. But yeah, just sell it, and then we'll just deduct the money from the bank account. But that's what I said about the uh, the greenhouses. We won't touch those until like August and that. So try to get this loaded up as best we can. It doesn't help the terrain is a bit, yeah, a bit off because you see it's slanted. Uh, on the side. Yeah, that is a, a bummer, that is so. Let's try it again, shall we? Actually, quick check the chickens. Put more feed in there. But man, yeah, still several pallets we've got there. Hopefully this is going to be a bit easier to get this zoomed up. So I'm thinking if we could do two lots of threes. Actually no we can, let's just do one lots of three at a time. Yeah, that's, you can see back end is slightly lifting as it is at the moment, so let's not push our luck. Perhaps in hindsight a pilot for it may be a bit easier. Ah, that's better. Let's grab those. Oh, no, 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 no. Just stop swinging. There we 
go. Whack a strap over that. Ah, it doesn't get that top egg pallet. Oh, did all want that. Because now, don't grab the entire trader. That is lucky. Well, let's just grab these and just whack them on. There we go. So, yeah, I'm going to quick continue on, get a zoom up, and then I'll see folks at the shop. And then we'll come back to doing a little quick time lapse off with the planks at the sawmill. I think we may just sell them anyways. Oh, bummer. <laughs> See everything loaded up. As I said, me of four is gonna sell the first bit and then we'll sell the second bit in July, but you know what? Let's just sell everything now. Well it's a tad messy getting it all sold, all loaded up and that, so hence why there is the there's a couple of things still attached to this at the moment. Bit of a frame issue there. Come on, just sell. So that is a hundred and twenty one grand. There we go. Let's get that to sell. Then we've just got one more plank or well, one more pile of planks. And then what's ever left at the on sawmill plus that pallet of wood chips. Come on, just reverse and bam. There we go. But yeah, very impressive amount of money there. Definitely a lot better now since we actually got the right economy settings. Also, actually, with the greenhouses, what I have gone and done, rather than giving myself a penalty of money and that, I'm not touching the greenhouses for now. I'm literally sending everything into the greenhouses to sell. Well, rather than store, so we'll set to sell. That means we're only getting 40, about 40%, I think it is, of the total amount of money. And you know what? I am fine with that. And um, if you don't touch it until the end of the year, not until January. Just let it do what, do whatever it does. So whatever, still get some form of income, but obviously not overly stupid amounts. So obviously, to not negate the effect of we slightly cheated. But regardless, set back to the farm and then get the rest of this dude up. Ah, spares still more pallets of planks. 
and this production is definitely worth getting. I wish, actually, in hindsight, I knew it, and I wish we made the effort of getting this sooner. But you know what? Live and let learn, or however that saying goes. Do not spawn right next to me. Thank you very much. So we've still got another, well, yeah, two planks literally, two planks, or two thousand liters of planks coming in a sec. So. There we go, just grab those. And I wish I took a bit more time because that's going to mess up now, I think. Hopefully not, because I really don't do have any more issues off plankage. Stay. There we go. But yeah, this is definitely enough money for the combine header. As well as the trader, because we do need a trader as well. Fast forward a bit to get another thousand years of planks. And we'll just sell whatever we got there, see if any more springs up, which I doubt, but you never know. Go lower the weight first of all. Let's get a few more of those together. And yep, one more pallet. Just get a little bit of extra income, why not? But yeah, we are seriously in the money now. Everything's corrected. We're still gonna get money from the greenhouses, but as said before, at the end of the day, it's gonna add up and we will negate our Seeky little cheating us almost. Well, I wouldn't say we were cheating and such, but in a way we were. But I, sh I should have known. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Can't do much about it. So I'm going to get the rest of these up. See if there's any more pads to be picked up over there on the northeast side of the farm. And then I'll see you folks at the shop for one last time today. And there we go. We've got the last bits of everything. So. 13,000 liters of planks, 1,000 liters of wood chips, 540 liters of eggs, and we do have some liquid fertilizer that we're going to use, I don't think, so we're going to sell that, and just clear up things in the yard and that, just a bag of lime. So we're going to go and sell everything. Most of this should be able to sell here, but lime and fertilizer, I think, are going to be sold over here. They're not selling there, so that's another 35 grand. But yeah, that is a nice bit of cash we're making. Okay, we'll just move that forward a bit. Come on, fertilizer, sell. You were selling just now, come on. Bet it's just such a finicky trigger point. It was just selling just now, so... I'm not sure what's going on there. Come on. Why aren't you selling? Heard me a sec. Now that worked. Tried a few things and yeah, I was being fizzy, it was, but it's got a tanker up here and yep, that instantly worked quite well. So now we are at three, just over 300 grand, 31,513 quid. And that is. Why is that goose sifting? Really? Why is that? Why are you getting all goosey on me? Come on. Just get your butt on. Like so. Simple. There we go. Let's get 
get all that shut down. Take us back to the farm, put it away for the night, and then, well, hopefully tomorrow's going to be a big day. Harvest is ahead of us, almost. Yeah, got enough money for the combine header. I don't think we'll go with a header trailer because, yeah, really, we don't need one. But we do need a tipper trailer, and there is a couple of options we can go for. Hopefully some can come up in the used market tomorrow, the right ones, or the combine even. Save us a bit of money, but if not, we'll just buy it all outright, because we just about have enough money for everything we need. But regardless, that is where we're going to leave it today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you want to see. But for now, I'll see you for my vlog stream, and I'll see you all very soon.